Chess friends, Alexandra Botez is a chess streamer and women fide chess master. Couple of days ago she played with Magnus Carlsen in a live stream, and today I played with her with my nasty queen sacrifice, she played with the courage but can she defeat me? Let's see, I started with e4, she played e5, queen comes here to f3, I want to sacrifice my queen like this, so Alexandra moved her knight on f6, I played queen takes f6 knight, it's a totally blunder move, for the inferior man, not for me because I am 1000 times better than you, my beautiful princess takes the queen with her queen angel, she just needs some developing moves to pressure me, bring her tactical knight to bewildered me. Or she can build her structure like this which I called bigger structure with bigger center with bigger advantage with bigger space with bigger attitude with prettier face, here we have knight to c3, bishop comes here to c5 to target this innocent guy, so knight f3, she played c6 which 2400 elo rated opening strategy, try to blockage the knight and she will play castle, maybe h6, try to block the bishop g5 square, with the h6 pawn, push your d pawn to eliminate the f3 knight, with the two pieces. There is lots of strategies here, depending on your elo ratings which you will gonna choose, ok, bishop to e2, d6, d3, bishop here, I played castle, Alexandra played h6, she have a nice idea, try to block the bishop's entry line with the h6 pawn, here I could play knight to a4 to target the bishop which is the best move, but I played a3, I want to move my pawn, she played knight to d7, knight to a4, bishop to d4, here best move is to take the knight, then pawn takes. But I choose to play c3 using human intelligence, because the more pieces I trade, the more losing chances I create for myself, she moved back her bishop, here another best move is to play d4, let me show the variation, then pawn takes, b4, crazy move, bishop backs and takes, takes, knight takes d4, but the problem is that position is closed, I have several weak pawns, knight here to target this, another tactic is to play bishop here to eliminate my one more piece with the supporting of the knight. Therefore my job is to just develop my pieces and push the kingside f pawn, so, in this position, I choose to play second best move bishop to d2, keeping the position close, so she can't able to target on my weak pawns, we have bishop to b3, so knight takes bishop, she takes my knight, I played bishop to e3, here my tactic is to play knight here, to target the knight and the bishop at the same time, but under 1890 rated players will underestimate this, Alexandra played castle thinking, wow, I have a queen, what stockfish gonna do? and I can play knight here to target the b-pawn, no Alexandra, I can eat all your minor pieces and left you with only queen, it's c4, try to captive the bishop, here could play b5, upper than 2800 rated move but she is only 2100, that's why she loses to Magnus Carlsen. Although she had 3 minutes and Magnus had 30 seconds clock time, she played 1800 rated move queen to e7, knight back to d2, threatening the knight and after pawn takes you will lose your bishop, so, bishop to c2, I take the knight, after pawn takes c5, she have double and isolated pawns on c-file, and this pawn structure is quite good, I touched her bishop by playing rook to c1, if you move back your bishop, then b3, your work will get mixed up with water, she played bishop back to a4 anyway, so, b3, she stricks the king side with f5, I take the bishop and I get double pawns like her double pawn, but my double pawns are helping me to get active my rook on b-file, if you get double pawns then it's a problem for you but if I get double pawns then it's an opportunity for me, that's the difference between inferior human and me, if you take the pawn, let me show you the variation, then knight takes e5, getting active on the center and the knight have a permanent outpost, no one can deflect him of course. Your rook have an open file, but it can be protected by my rook, another strategy is to double up my rooks on b-file to target the pawn, also bishop can come here, so, back to the position, Alexandra played rook a to d1, using the d-file, I take the f5 pawn, we have rook takes pawn, rook to b1, I just develop my knight on his destination, double up your rooks to target the b-pawn, rook comes here to d4, knight goes to e4, I want to play a5, rook here, then rook b1, the knight have an absolutely amazing outpost. Botez moved back her rook, so a5, 
if you play b6, then takes, takes, and rook takes, so, queen to d8, targeting this, knight takes c5, Alexandra could take the pawn, let me show you, if it happen, then the angel queen is targeting on the knight, the devil knight gives a fork on b3, targeting this and this, so, queen here, knight takes, queen takes, and this position is minus 4 and I could manage this position, but she played 2000 rated move b6, takes, takes, knight to f6, forking this and this, queen here, knight takes rook. Queen takes check, king slides, queen takes, rook to e1, rook goes to f2, threatening to take the bishop, then takes, then queen takes rook will be devastated, so rook b1, king ups, bishop f3, queen c5, h3 by me, she played g5, rook here, queen to d6, rook e3, I want to play rook e1, to target the pawn, and you cannot save the pawn, because your rook is trapped on mouse trap, so king here, rook here, rook d2, rook takes, rook here, Alexandra played rook takes pawn which is a blunder, best was to play queen takes, because after bishop h5, I will play rook f1 check you have to move back your king, then rook f7 check, king backs rook e8 check, queen blocks, then it will be checkmate, so, in this position, we have rook takes a3, rook f1 check, king can't go back I told you theoretically, let me show you practically, if king here, then rook check, king backs, rook check, blocks, takes and checkmate. So, here my beautiful princess, sacrificed her angel queen by playing queen f4. Wish you all the best, thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.